Hello, in this beta information clip I'm going to talk to you about riding hats. First of all, there are three main types that you may come across in your retailers. First of all, there's the traditional velvet type of riding hat. Also, the jockey skull cap, which will be used for faster work, where no fixed peak of any type is attached. And then, in more recent years, we've had the microshell style of riding helmet. So how do these riding hats or shells or jockey skulls provide you, the rider, with protection? We've got here a cross-section of a jockey skull and you can see the different sections that make up the riding hat. First of all, you've got the external outer shell which is designed to protect you against any penetrating objects that could cause you injury and additionally it will spread the blow of the impact across the actual riding hat itself. Inside there's a layer of microscopic bubble wrap if you like in this form of polystyrene shell which is designed to absorb the energy and impact of your fall should you be unfortunate enough to have one. Here you can see a section with a big dent in it and this is where this riding hat has been intentionally impact tested and you can see how that has performed its function by absorbing all the energy of the bang so that your head doesn't and thus protecting the rider's head. The other vitally important section of any riding helmet or hat is the retention harness which is what keeps the shell in the correct position on your head so it can provide you with maximum protection and of course it's vital that this is done up and adjusted correctly so it can do its job fully. If you're wondering whenever you should replace your hat whether it be old or new if you have an impact of any type and that could happen in three ways with one incident you might have the misfortune to hit your head on a tree fall to the floor and perhaps even the horse catches hoof on your hat. Externally you may see no damage to the hat at all but it's possible as with this helmet here, this hat here, that you can see it has in fact when we remove, and this has been heat treated to allow this to happen, we remove the internal shell you can see that the internal shock absorbent layer has done its job, it's dented slightly, absorbing the energy of the hat uh, injury and the outer shell itself has actually cracked to a degree because it's protected the rider from the impact of that fall. So at any time when your hat has an impact of any type, that's when you should be replacing it. For more information about riding hats and riding hat standards, please visit our website at beta-uk.org. That's beta-uk.org, where you can order one of these information leaflets, which will tell you everything you need to know about riding hats and their standards, etc. Or you can find that information on our website. Thank you.